the weapon triangle is back. But in a new, I guess, system here, throwing hands just beats daggers, archers, and tomes. But not only that, the weapon trial advantage here is the break mechanic. When a character uses a weapon with advantage and it lands, it triggers the break status on the enemy, and an enemy inflicted with a break cannot counterattack after their next. They so they they can't counterattack. This actually changes the entire game, right? This is almost equivalent to like gambits, right? Gambits in three houses where you can just stun enemies and they just can't do shit anymore, right? You just freeze them in place. I don't know if this freezes them in place anymore. It lets you prevent the enemy's next attack from happening. Yeah, that's crazy. I assume enemies can break you as well. The weapon triangle has never not worked both ways. I'm interested to know where... Does the weapon triangle still have hit and avoid advantage? It doesn't mention higher hit rates. If you can break things, or if you have break as your advantage here, I assume you wouldn't get the hit Avo advantage too. It could still be in there, in which case weapon triangle advantage is fucked, <laughs> if that's the case. This changes the way you have to strategize a lot, because like, in three houses when you're using your gambits and your stuns, you have like a limited amount of stuns that you can use in a chapter. Like you're, you have stuns as a resource that you use. Having regular access to a break or a mechanic like that changes how you play the game entirely. Entirely. Because now you're not you're not structuring around whether I'm gonna get counterattacked if I have advantage here. You're thinking on my player phase, how many enemies A can I kill and B can I disable? And if you have weapon trial advantage, that's something that comes up a lot in the gameplay. It's something that's gonna be happening on a regular basis. It's not quite as potent as Gamma's. Yeah, it's not quite as potent, but it still is potent. Imagine losing your unit to a break chain. I mean, here's the thing. The enemy has them too. So you very much definitely have to work around it. It punishes turtling. I didn't think about that. But that might be a good way to, yeah, punish turtling. If you're just sitting there, you're just going to get broken. If you don't place your unit strategically and play your advantages, you're just going to get immediately broken and then get whaled on. Because you can't counterattack, right? But I guess they thought, okay, if we're bringing the weapon triangle back, like, what do we want to do with it, right? Because I do agree, maybe that a hit bonus and a dodge bonus, I, I think it isn't the most compelling thing in the world. I mean, it has very tangible gameplay effects, but I do think a mechanic like this, if executed properly, is way more compelling. This is definitely a system change where how the game is built around it is going to matter a lot. But it does seem like it could introduce some interesting level design opportunities, right? But you really do need to see it in action in the context of a battle and not just in isolation. Because right now we're just seeing it, oh, a broken enemy. And then we're not really seeing ways to push that to the max, right? We'll see. Maybe it isn't. And this ends up just being busted. That could be a possibility too. I mean, Fire Emblem games are not known for their balance. Doesn't affect their quality, in my opinion. I think Fire Emblem not being balanced is totally fine. If this is pulled off correctly, I think this is going to be better than the original Weapon Triangle in terms of how much fun it is to use. It definitely gives a lot more player power, right? And I do think if the enemy has it too, it makes your enemy phase a lot more interesting too in terms of the decisions you make to not get broken yourself. You definitely have to play matchups more. We'll see how the strategy actually pans out. Definitely... The most interesting mechanical innovation we've seen so far. I think break, we'll see how it pans out, but I think it'll be very cool.